The 97th meeting of the Board of Directors of the Eastern Caribbean Telecommunications Authority, ECTEL, was held in St. Lucia with some members attending virtually. The chairman of the board, Mr. Philip Dalsu, notes that the governance arrangement of ECTEL requires the board of directors to meet four times a year to be updated on the work of the regional telecommunications regulator. The key items on the, on the discussion today were, one, the, the work plan, the, the up, an update on the end of year, the financial reports of ECTEL, uh, uh, updates on of some of their key projects. The Board of Directors ensures that the electronic communication sector remains properly regulated and that consumers and investors continue to benefit from an industry liberalized over two decades ago. You know, the advent of Ectel and the advent of regulation in the telecoms market has led to significant drops in the prices of telecom services. It's, it's led to incredible levels of investment. The Actel Managing Director David Cox says one of the key items on the agenda was the much-awaited Electronic Communications Bill, which is an update to the current Telecommunications Act. With the enactment of this EC Bill, we could see even higher levels of investment and higher levels of competition and even a greater contribution from the telecom sector and ICTs generally to the economies of the region. So it is the hope that the EC bill will be enacted in the remaining ECTEL contracting states within the next year or so. We're hoping that we can get this legislation passed in the remaining contracting states, the St. Lucia, Grenada and Dominica. We're optimistic that we can get this done this year or early into next year. And uh, we think it's going to have a very transformative effect on the sub-region in the next five to ten years. The five contracting states of ECTEL are the Commonwealth of Dominica, Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines.